Hello, welcome to another episode of Let's Play, Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Last time, we, f well, went to the Tail Cave, helped Bow Wow out of from being captured by the Moblins. In this episode, we're heading into the next dungeon, Bottle Grove, which is actually shaped like a bottle. Level 2, Bottle Grove. Filled with bottles and is shaped like a bottle if you look at the map. Alright, so, this one is a little bit, is a little bit longer. And, uh, so, head north. And you'll find a bit of things we a two unlit candles, light them on fire. Head over this way, use a rock's feather, make sure that you use it, because it's a really good item. Ah, crap's one of these dungeons. That was a stout, an upgrade, a green style post, which now slams its butt on the floor. And get another key. Yay! Anyways, head to the left. And open that door. Avoid the spark. Oh, well, that was close. Hmm. Nothing? Alright, we might want to get some uh, extra extra things from, one, from the witch. Anyways, get ourselves a stone beak. If you're playing the original, there be a there be a the dungeon map here. Nice right, head down. Poop. Rock's cape or rock's feather, really good. Rock's cape is one that appears in later games, uh, mainly Minish Cap, which I will be playing eventually in the Oracle games, which is something I'll be playing sometime soon. Maybe, maybe not. In a while. Part of the floor is raised. Tap the blue crystal. And now it's still blue. Hm. And there appears to be a... A Strouded Stolfos, which is what that guy's name is. Over here is a small key. And head to the room to the right. And jump. And that's also where you can get some more of those. Hit that, by the way, to open more gate gates. And yeah. And catch the room. Alright. And head up. Okay. Hey, shy guys. Yeah, they're shy guys. You need him from behind. And then you get yourself the, the, a key over there. We can't do anything with that, so just keep heading to the room. Hmm. Okay, we have to backtrack through the dungeon, apparently, according to the guide. Oh, we just jump there. Why, why do we need to hit the switch? Okay. Oh. Bloop. Bloop. And get yourself the small key. Da -da -ding. Uh, can you? S okay, no, you can see how many keys you have. It's just on the very far right, which is a very small text. All right. Well, a small text, just very scrunched text. All right. Head left. Oh, hello there. You have a lot more keys than we actually needed. Stab, stab. Knock you over. Stab you twice. Grab that. Mm -hmm. Uh, is, do we need to go up here? Oh, wrong area. But, I think we can do something with these. Let's open a staircase down. We'll do stuff for that later. Every block design is the same. A new path will open. Uh... Oh, we need the compass. That's, that's how you get to the mini-boss. So we need to wait for that. But hey, the pathway's open now, so if we need to get there, we can get there easily. Ah, oh, I just made a really long jump. If you go diagonal, I know you can go farther. Bing, bing. Uh, no dungeon map yet, so we can't do anything with that. So what, where do we freaking go? You're back. Yeah, I'm back. I'm being dumb. Over here is a, there's a locked door. This is where you get the compass. It's another stone mask guy. Just use this to snap him in the back. And get yourself the compass. Or it's actually his name, well the name is a mimic. They're obviously a shy guy. You know, for obvious reasons of they look like a shy guy, they act like a shy guy, they are a shy guy. Wow. 
This game has a lot of the enemies like this, which are just basically just Mario Kirby enemies reskinned. Or more dust. Could always use more of that. Not until later in the game we can increase our capacity. Oh, this looks pretty heavy. Yeah, I know that. I don't want it. Tab. Get ourselves that. Some rupees. You get one rupee. Jump over you. And we, don't, we, can't, we don't have to reopen the puzzle, thank god. Head down here to a bit of a jumping puzzle. Thank you, Rock's Feather. Oop. Oop. Seriously. Rock's Feather. Pfft, freaking amazing. Anyways, jump up here. Miss entirely. And fall in the, in the bottomless void. Okay. Stab. Light. And head through here. To the boss! Meet Hinox! Hinox will throw bombs at you and charge. He is weak to the sword. Just avoid his bombs and use spin attacks. And the rocks came. Oh, he also chuck you! Doing a lot of damage. Good thing he drops the freaking fairy. Okay, stand on top of him and keep jumping for the fairy. <laughs> I'm stomping under the floor. Anyways, head through the next gate. Hoop. 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 Uh, no! Shoot. I hate this. First, defeat the imprisoned pole voice. Lastly, Stoffos. So, first, the imprisoned. The pole's voice, then a Stoffos. Oh my god! That enemy is one that drags ya. Anyway, over here is the uh, dungeon map. Anyways, if you're playing the original, there was a stone tablet in here, but all right. Well, let's show, look at the map and see. Yep, it looks like a like that. We missed a chest. Okay, I'll be right back to that later. All right, be you. It's... Yes, I understand it's heavy. I won't be able to lift it by bare hands. Grab that and give yourself some rupees. Yay, rupees. And head in here. Hello, booze. You there, there, booze. And you can't change your mind. What? And you need, like, light the room up. We can open this to get ourselves the chest of the power armlet! Or bracelet. At last, you can pick up pots and stones. And now we can chuck them. Level 1, because there is an upgrade to it. Yes, that has a level 1 thing. It's an upgrade. This is the only other item you'll have equipped in your inventory. Just so you get rid of those freaking things, unless you for specific situations. All right, head north. Uh oh, go back to the mini boss room. Cause now you can open a chest that was there. And we can also open this as well. Oh, that was the wrong item. Okay, then. That is one thing about that, is that items do get kind of jumbled. After <laughs> What's up here? Hmm, that's... Hey, that was a piranha plant. Okay, then. <laughs> Please, the love of God, get rid of this music. I want to start shucking rocks. Here's some gold. Oh, that was the dungeon's entrance that I saw. Head through here again. It's stuck in my head, it's burned into it! Help! I just want to hear the dungeon theme! I don't want to hear this theme! Oh, so that those, uh, keys just got annihilated. Thank the lord, it's over. It's over! I no longer get to hear the acorn theme. Anyways, like that. Jump across. Hit it again. And get yourself a small key. Ba -da -ba -da. And the head forward. Oh, we still need to hit it again. Hit you down. Knock you down. No. The problem is they don't disappear either. Like, there is no like way for them to disappear, really. They'll be there forever. To 
just to show you. Get this missing. Alright. I'm bringing the guy to less, but hey. Over here is the. Oh, tr the traps, a uh, pole's voice. Then the Stolfos. Okay. Alright. Our weapons can't hurt the, st the pole's voice yet. We'll need a bow or a high pitched noise, but a pot will do. If I can hit it. Uh, does this work? Ah, let's see, that's where you have to go. Hit it with a pot, and then the Stalfos. You know what they said? And over here is some prana plants, which will lead back to the area that we went through before, but eh. So... Alright, push the blocks out of the way. Oh, I see. I see. Pole's voice. Keys. Stolfos. And we'll get a chest. Which contains... The, the Nightmare Key. Oh yeah. That's all the chest. Yep. There's a thing down there, but I think we can reach it through here. Let's see what's in here. Curious. Pole's voices. Alright. Smash you out of existence. Smash you out of existence. Smash you out of existence. Oh, and there's the stairs down. Perfect. Anyways, this is a weight puzzle. You notice the weight? That it weighs you down a bit? You need to grab one of these. Climb the ladder, because this one won't go, go down unless you're holding it. It's that face, because alive. It's a womp. Head up. Glad don't need to be in this room. <laughs> and jump across. To enter one my in my opinion, one of the more difficult bosses of this game. Ho ho ho! I am your bad guy this time! Ho ho ho! ho. Meet the genie. Look with the rock's feather and the uh well this. To meet well, again the genie. Nya nya! You can't hurt me as long as I have my bottle! You cannot hurt him, again, as long as he has his bottle. You basically need to dodge his fireballs, which you can see in his hands. You'll know when he's running out, when there's only one fireball flying around. Again, as long as the rock feather's going, you can just keep jumping. Oh, now you want to hit him with the sword. I, I can't move! But I'm still alright! Your little sword won't break this bottle! Well, I wonder what to do. Quonk! And you know the trick again. Just keep repeating that until the bottle breaks. Nya nya, you can't hurt me as long as I have my bottle! This boss will take a bit. Just for you. The rock's feather makes you basically immortal, so that's fine. If you're going to keep jumping, time your jumps. Okay, I can't break you again. Oh, I just sped up too fast and got hit twice. Oops. That's fine, he's almost dead anyway. And then we break the bottle. Put your rock's feather and the sword. What? You, you broke my bottle! Why, you, you make me hopping mad! And it'll basically just chase you down. And also split into, uh, into, well, illusions. In order to disorient you. Basically, just keep stabbing with her sword. And hopping around? And eventually, the genie will go dead! And gear yourself his heart. Hmm. I also found out there's 12. Well, a heart. A heart container. I found out there's 12 pieces of heart. We already have a fourth of them. Hmm. And with this, we get ourselves the next instrument! You've got the conch horn! <laughs> Prairie, prairie, the prairie is waiting. There you 
I got the ancient voice from. And next time on Let's Play Legends of the Link's Awakening, we're gonna head and do some collecting, because we have a lot of stuff for collecting to do, actually. And maybe head towards the next dungeon. Maybe? Pro probably not. Anyways, see you guys then. Actually, yeah, we have a lot of stuff to do, so see you guys next time. Bye.